We've been contacted a lot in the last couple years, and so we decided to put together a video series using our product line to demonstrate uh, what really makes Santa Maria Barbecue traditional and true. We're going to start the video series with my father-in-law Bob on how to start a fire. Hi, I'm Bob Frias. Today we're going to talk about how to start a fire in a wood-burning barbecue pit. While it seems like a simple concept, there are things to know to make this process as problem-free as possible. While there are a lot of opinions on the best way to start a fire, there are three common essentials. Fuel, air, and an ignition source. Unless you're trying to start a fire on Mars, we don't have to worry too much about air. So let's talk about fuel and ignition sources. For fuel, you will need a seasoned hardwood. Oftentimes, people use hickory, mesquite, and various fruit woods. Typically, you will use what's available in your area, and here in Santa Maria, California, that means red oak. Wood contains moisture, and how much moisture it contains will determine how easy it is to start and how fast it will burn. You can tell green unseasoned wood because it's heavy. Dry wood is much lighter, and for me, a little moisture is okay, so the wood doesn't burn too fast. To start your fire, some people will want to use kindling and newspaper, and if your wood's really dry, you can get away with that, but that's not a very reliable method. Some people like lighter fluid, and some people will use a torch. Okay, now we're going to show you how to stack the wood, and I'm going to do it on this uh, tabletop here so you can get a better idea of what it looks like. So we're just going to take two larger pieces, put them about, I don't know, six inches apart, and I'll show you why later. And then we're just going to crisscross it. You want to leave two or three inches in between the pieces of wood, and that's what's going to allow the airflow to go through the stack and keep your fire going nicely. So I'm going to go, oh, I'll probably go four layers here. go like that and then it's kind of a high stack we're gonna knock this down later I'll also show you that so our main goal right now is to get all this wood engulfed in flames so it'll burn down into some nice coals so you can start some cooking the foolproof method that I like is the use of instant light charcoal briquettes what you do is put a small pile in between the two bottom logs you don't need a lot and then build your fire, stack your wood over the top, as we showed you before. It's also helpful to have a grate under your wood to also facilitate airflow. How much wood you use will depend on how much food you want to cook. I'm gonna use a pretty good amount here, and you'll see later, once this gets burning, we're gonna knock the pile down a little bit. Light the briquettes. Once the fire gets going, it'll take 20 or 30 minutes before you're ready to cook. Once your fire is fully engulfed, you're going to want to knock it down a little bit just to uh, increase the heat area under your grill here. Uh, you don't want to spread it out too much, so we'll just kind of spread the logs like this. It'll flame up temporarily, uh, but then uh, it'll settle down. You'll have a nice fire. You're ready to cook. <laughs> 